to my channel. So today's video is a Lifestyles Favorites video. I decided recently that I'm going to be breaking out my favorites video um, by doing one beauty one and then one doing doing another one lifestyle because I seem to talk a lot and I can talk about products forever. So by the time I get to the lifestyle part of the favorites video, it's like I'm rushing through it. I can't really talk about much and I, I even cut it out of my last video on my January favorites just because the video was just getting too long. So I thought it would be a great idea to break it out for you guys. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alex and I'm Beauty Addict Next Door and I'm really addicted to makeup. So that is the reason why for, for me having that name. Um, also my channel is cruelty free. So if you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button below. So that way you can be notified of more of my videos in the future. So um, now let's jump on into the lifestyle favorites. Um, I'm really excited because now I can actually, just actually spend more time with you guys and stuff and mention more things with you. Um, so first I'm going to kind of go over like food related stuff. I'm an app and then I'll do like movies, TV, music and other stuff like that. So first let's do food just because I have a lot here um, that I want to go over with you guys. So as I may have mentioned in another video or in a future video, um, I am on like a special diet. I'm working with a, a dietitian to try to figure out what um, I'm having a lot of health issues. So pretty much trying to figure out um, ways for me to eat and things for me to eat that will help my body um, work better. Um, still a process. There's a lot that needs to be done. But in the meantime, there are, are there have been some helpful foods that I've been eating a lot lately that have helped a little bit in certain areas. Um, so one of the things that my dietitian wanted me to do is to increase my fiber. Um, so I did that, and it has helped out immensely. Um, so one of my favorite um, meals that I have, um, and I have a bunch of meals throughout the day. A lot of it turns out to be just like snacks. So I'm just like constantly eating just smaller portions spread throughout the day. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been taking um, um, Quaker oatmeal. Um, I have this one in organic instant oatmeal, 100% whole, whole grains, um, and this is maple and brown sugar. So I take one packet of this, and then I take, I take three spoonfuls of the steel cut oats, um, which is also 100% natural whole grain. Um, I, I've heard somewhere that this is better for you than... Um, regular grains um and definitely better than the one with you know the maple the brown sugar in it um the thing is eating only this is just too much it gets too crunchy i can't eat it it's just it's just annoying but i do like having a little bit of crunch to it and also it gives me a little bit more oatmeal without having to add another whole whole other packet um and more brown sugar so i just add in a couple more scoops of this into that and it's a nice mix and then there are two um, items that I also like to mix into my oatmeal. Sometimes I have not put them in there, and sometimes I do. Um, but my dietitian said this will help increase my protein. So um, actually, there's three things. So the first two things are, well, the first thing is these almonds. So I wanted to incorporate almonds into my diet just because that they are good for me. Um, I got the light salted, lightly salted version because regular salted is just way too salty and really dehydrates me. But then the plain version is just plain. I'm like, I want some, I want a little salt. So um, a lot of the products that I get are like lightly salted. Um, so for instance, this one is a lightly salted one. It says it's heart healthy, 50% less sodium than the marketed one. So the ones that are fully salted, this one has 50% less sodium in it. Um, so I like to sprinkle like a small handful of that on top of my oatmeal. Um, and then I also sprinkle a, a small handful of the raw sunflower kernels. So just some sunflower seeds that I just sprinkle in there. And if you guys want to see a video where I kind of show you different recipes or things that I eat, um, in a separate video, I could totally do that. Um, some of it's really basic though. It's not something that'd be like super interesting, but I could just kind of do a video and show you guys like what I eat and different things that I like to eat that help me out with my diet. Um, in case you're someone who has, um, any GI issues or, um, yeah, maybe it'll help you. Now, another thing that my dietitian wanted me to start doing is to add a tablespoon of almond butter into my oatmeal. Peanut butter is fine, but I have, for some reason, peanut butter kind of bothers me, but almond butter has not bothered me at all. It works out great. So if you're someone who can't handle peanut butter, maybe try almond butter. I actually think it tastes a lot better than peanut butter and it also smells better. I don't know what it is. So um, what I've been doing is also adding a tablespoon of peanut butter into my oatmeal and just mixing it around. It tastes really good. And then also whenever I like, sometimes when I make toast, I'll put almond butter on top of it. Or if there's anything that I can kind of add almond butter to, I try to. My That's what my dietitian wants me to do is try to um, add 
this to as much things as possible. So I'm all for it, it tastes really good. Now when I put it on toast, I've been used, putting it on um, this whole grains, healthy multi-grain bread. So I picked up a plate like Atari, you can get it at uh, other grocery stores as well. Um, and this is a good source of fiber and there's no high fructose corn syrup in it. And I don't know if you guys know this, but um, a lot of people think that wheat bread's good for you. And I think wheat bread is better for you than white bread but whole grain bed bread is the best overall. Um, I forget why, but it's based on like how it's made, like there's certain products that you're either taken out or put in or something that makes it better. I can't remember what it is, because um, I read it a long time ago, but this is the best for you and it gives you a good amount of fiber too, which is what she wanted to do is to increase it. So whenever I'm having like maybe pasta for dinner, I may put some butter on this, put it on the side. If I wanna have a peanut butter sandwich, I put the almond butter on it. If I want kind of more of a dessert, I put Nutella on it. Um, so um, I've been really, I'm so glad that I increased my fiber because at one point I increased my fiber and it made me sick. Um, but now that I've been increasing my fiber, it's actually helped me out a lot. So maybe there's something weird going on prior to the surgery that I had in July, maybe I, I don't know, but for some reason it's working for me now, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, and so like I said, I like to put Nutella on top of it. I got this, and oh my gosh, I'm almost done with it. I'm going to have to get another jar. Like, I went through this so quickly. Like, Nutella is so good. But now that, like, I'm on a, a special diet, um, I'm trying to minimize crap that I'm eating. But this is actually good for you. Um, it's hazelnut spread with cocoa in it, and it tastes really good. So I like to, like I said, put it on toast or... Um, my dietitian said to even just like dip my animal crackers into it just because it helps increase my protein apparently. Um, so I'm really, a lot of the options that she gave me, I'm like, these all sound good to me. Like, it's not like I feel like I have to eat the weirdest, yuckiest crap ever. So I'm like, I'm all about Nutella. So I try to, uh, this is another item like between, she pretty much wants me to alternate between um, Nutella and peanut butter. So, uh, or not peanut butter, um, almond butter. So that way I don't get sick of one or the other. And this one I kind of use more as, a, as like a dessert and the other one I kind of use more as like lunch kind of thing. So I don't know if you guys want to see a video where I kind of go more into like my diet and um, stuff like that. I could do that. And also I forgot almost one more product. A <laughs> Nutri-Grain bars. These are like my go-to like little quick snacks. Like if I want to eat something real quick. Um, these also um, have a lot of fiber in them. So they are real fruit and whole grain. So these she suggested as well, which I was surprised. I was like, okay, I'll have some of that. But yeah, I can do a whole other video on that. So I probably, I probably just make this the video on it because I'm probably talking so much. But yeah, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Now, as far as drinks go, this kind of goes off of what I was just talking about. But I've been using this organic peppermint tea that I picked up at Target um, just because um, with my interstitial cystitis, which is a different issue from my GI issue. Um, but it also kind of, they all kind of connect. Um, I can't drink coffee. I can't have, whether it's decaf or caffeinated, you know, I can't have soda, energy drinks, or anything. So pretty much I have this to drink or water. Um, I can't have lemonade. I can't have orange juice because they have, they're acidic. So this is like the best thing to have if you have a lot of GI issues because it has the peppermint in it. But this is known to be really good for your digestive health. My dietitian did warn me that some people do have a hard time with it. Um, so maybe it's not best for everybody. But for me, it works. It's Thank God there's something that I can drink that has flavor that's hot, you know, especially with it being winter time. This is so nice to have because I'm like, I want to warm up, damn it. And there's like literally only one thing at work because we get like free like little coffee packets and stuff. The peppermint tea there is the only thing that I can have. Now, this is what I have at home on the weekends, um, but I'm so glad to have it. I used to hate tea. I hated it. I was so mad. I was like, I don't want tea. But I was like, I just need to learn to like it because otherwise I'm just going to be able to drink water, which water's fine with me. I like water, but occasionally I want some flavor. And um, particularly if I'm feeling cold, I want something hot. So this has been such a great solution. So I'm so glad I found it and I really like the way that this tastes. Okay, the, the beginning of this video is going to be like super health and fitness. So the next thing that I want to talk about is an app that I got. So when I saw my dietitian, she wanted me to keep a journal. Now I tried food journals before, but they were just so basic. Like they weren't really helpful and I never keep up with them. But this one I had. Um, kept up with and it is called my symptoms so I'll try to do a close-up of it and insert an icon but it's just this little app that I have right here um, called my symptoms and so I'm not going to show you everything in here I'll just quick, quickly flash this but what it shows you you can list everything you eat you can list it as a snack dinner breakfast lunch whatever and then you can put in when you list it you can put in what you ate um, and then you have a notes section. So sometimes in the notes section, what I do is I put like, I ate this and it made me feel sick or I ate this and I felt fine. 
Um, so I add that in the notes section. But you can also list your symptoms. So they'll have a whole list of symptoms that you can just check mark off what symptoms you're experiencing. You can say the duration of how long you had those symptoms. You can add notes there. Um, and the symptoms always pop up in red. So that way when you're going through, you can see the red flag. Of, okay, what did I eat before this red bar of all these bad symptoms? Um, and then you can also put your bowel movements in there. I know that's TMI, but you can put that in there, especially if you're someone who has a GI issue, you're going to want to list that, some, that um, in there as well. You can also put in your exercise, your sleep. So you can say when you woke up, when you went to sleep, how your sleep was. Would you say that you slept really well? Would you say you slept really bad? Um, they have a bunch of medications. I list my medications in there, which also helps me keep track of when I take my medications. If I, Because I have to take my one medication three times a day, my other medication two times a day. So it really helps me keep track of that as well. So it's a really helpful app. So whether you have health issues or not, if you want to use it just to, uh, um, you know, go on a diet or just to maintain your health, keep track of your medications, your sleep, whatever, I think it's a really helpful app. And it's definitely the best one that I found out there. I'm so glad that I found it. Now, the last health-related thing that I want to mention to you guys in my lifestyle favorites is in regards to exercise. Now, I wasn't at it, like, for a year. I didn't work out at all, uh, especially since I had my surgery. I didn't work out at all, and then I kind of maybe worked out twice one month, twice the next month, and then eventually it was like, okay, maybe maybe my problem is exercise. Maybe that will help with my health. Um, so I started working out more, but... I wasn't noticing any change, but then my girlfriend, you know, she wanted to get in shape too. So she, and I'm showing you the booklet, but she got this thing called the Master of the Hammer and Chisel. Um, so she got the DVDs, but she gave it to the DVDs for mom. So we're actually streaming this on our um, TV. Um, but pretty much it's just a workout program. Um, it's called Hammer and Chisel, just so you, you're chiseling your body, you're getting yourself in shape. Um, so and it's just work, a bunch of different workout videos, and, you know, you're doing stuff where you're working on cardio, toning of your stomach, your arms, your legs, everything, agility, balance. Like it's really helpful. And you, whenever you're doing the workouts, you're kind of working all, everything each day. Um, so you could be doing a lot of leg stuff that day, but you're still working out your abs. Um, and they do have a 10 minute ab workout um, that's really helpful, which actually I want to start doing whenever I do my workouts, I want to add that on, even if it's not on the schedule, because there is a schedule. Um, you know, so Monday you do chisel balance, Tuesday you do hammer plyometrics, and then on Saturday you do total body hammer and the 10 minute ab workout. But I just kind of want to add it on every time I do the workouts, and I think that they are a lot of fun. I don't like plyometrics, I really hate plyometrics, but every other one I really, I really like chisel balance and chisel agility, which are the ones that my girlfriend hates the most. Um, but I feel like I got in shape, I started noticing getting um, some cuts in like my, my abs, like I just saw them coming in. Now granted, I started off by doing it like two to three days a week, and then I went to doing five days a week. Um, but then I started losing weight, and I can't do that. So my dietitian told me to stop doing five days a week, so I'm going to cut it down to two to three days a week again. Um, probably try, I'm going to try to do three, um, just because this is actually really fun. Like I was getting really in shape, and I, I honestly think it was easier for me to do the workout if I did it five times a week as opposed to two to three, because it just kind of becomes routine. Um, and I was having so much more fun with it trying to do it. Um, now their schedule is as if you're going to work out six days a week. So if I didn't have my YouTube channels or my health issues, I would definitely be doing this program full out like uh, six days a week with your, your one rest day just because I feel like they, they all look amazing. I definitely started noticing results. This is the first time that I ever worked out and was really like I'm seeing results. Um, and not just like losing weight but like tone like the toning of it. Like I've never felt like toned before. So I think that it's a great workout program. I'm going to do what I can for now. Um, but I would highly recommend you guys check it out because there are at home workouts that you can do. You just can get some, um, exercise balls some exercise bands that like a little mat and you can do all of your workouts from home. You don't have to truck out to the gym. Um, you know, you don't have to work out in front of other people if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, and they're more fun. Like I can't just like run on a treadmill, because I just like am staring off into space and just waiting for it to be over. But this keeps your attention. You're like, okay, we're gonna do this move and then we're gonna do that move and we're gonna try this move. We're gonna go back to doing that move again. Um, so it really keeps your attention, it keeps you busy. It goes, flies by for the most part um, and you actually really feel like you get a good workout. So I would highly recommend checking that out if you're trying to get in shape and get healthy. I think it's really helpful. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about is my camera. So this is the Sony A5100 camera, and I will list all the details about this camera down in the description box um, for you guys. And I got the white one, just because I thought the white one was nice. My um, my Canon T5i that I'm filming with right now is black. I thought it'd be fun to have my selfie camera, as I'm gonna call it, 
be white. Um, and this is strictly used for selfies. I don't, I have seen some product shots with it, but I feel like my Canon T5i is really good as far as video quality goes, and also really good as far as like pictures of products goes, which is great because I can actually hold the Canon T5i that way. Now when I take selfies, I don't want to be holding that big of a camera. So for the, me, like this is a good size. My weak little arms still can find this a little bit heavy after so long, but what are you going to do? Um, but it's really, really nice. It takes really high quality photos. Um, so a lot of my selfies are using this on Instagram. Now sometimes they are like screenshots from my video, which aren't as good, but sometimes it's just the way that I have to do it because I have to hold up products or I forgot to take a picture with this, but I have the... Because like whenever I do videos, I usually, I'm just like filming and I go, or I'm like holding up, like for this video, I'll be like, you know, and then I just take a screenshot of that. Um, so some of those are, but like if I'm just strictly taking a selfie and I'll post it on Instagram, I've been using this and sometimes I've been using it for my thumbnails as well. Just because the picture quality is better um, and more detailed. So you can really see the detail of your makeup, which is why I got it. Because there's so many um, Instagrammers, YouTubers that use this because it shows their makeup so well, and it does. Um, so I'm really happy with this camera. I'm really glad that I got it. It took a little getting used to at first just because I'm someone who doesn't read instructions, and I'm like, it's just going to work. So I had to mess around with it a, bit, a little bit. Um, but what's nice is this flip-up screen. So you can, you know, it's like this, but then you can also flip it up this way. So then when you're taking your selfie, you can see yourself here, and you can take it. Um, but you could also still just hold it down and just take it um, that way as well. Um, so I would highly recommend if you have the money for it, if you want to save up for it, you want to get a good selfie camera to um, boost your Instagram or even some of your thumbnails, I think that would be a great investment. Um, not to high priority, I think the video, um, getting the, like something like the Canon T5i to film your videos to have high quality videos is more important. But then the next step would be to get this. And then my next step after this is to get a Sigma lens. So that way my video quality can be bumped up even more so than it already is now. But that one, I'm not, like, I really want to just get it. But part of me is like, at the same time, like, I feel like my video quality is okay. Like, I'm fine with it. I think it's so much better than it used to be. Um, and I'll get there eventually. So I think I will be getting it in the next couple of months. I'm just trying to see how a couple things shake out. Um, as far as like moving goes because if we move I don't need a bus pass anymore so all the money that I saved up for my bus pass I can use what's in there to buy the 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 lens but if not I like, I want to make sure that we have the place before I do that so I probably will wait till we assign a lease and then once we do that I can give up my bus pass then then I'll get it but I'm gonna wait on that but for now I'm super excited that I have my Canon T5i which is also another favorite of mine I can't show it because I'm filming on it but then also this camera once again it is the Sony A5100. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna jump on into is movie. So I don't always have a favorite movie each month, but I definitely have a favorite movie this month. And luckily, one of my friends, for some reason, always gets like early passes to see videos. So, videos to see movies. So one of the movies that we recently saw was Deadpool. So we got to see that before it came out. Oh my God, guys, you need to see this movie. It is so freaking funny. I mean, from the opening credits, like I'm not gonna tell you what in the opening credits makes it so hilarious, because I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but you need to see it. And if you've seen it, let me know down in the comments, like what your favorite part is, what your who your favorite character is, let me know what you think, because I died, it was so funny. I laughed like pretty much the entire time. I love Ryan Reynolds even more than I already did before. Like one of my favorite movies, once it comes out on DVD, I need to get it, like so, it's so funny, I, but I don't want to like get into specifics with you guys just because I don't want to ruin it for you and give away any jokes, but like pretty much Ryan Reynolds character is just super funny and sarcastic and hilarious. Um, it's so good. You got to see it. Got to. Now I want to jump into TV shows with you guys. So one of the TV shows that me and my girlfriend have been watching on Netflix is Parks and Rec. Now we've already seen every season except for the seventh season, but I just got notified not too long ago that the seventh season was released. So I think we're finishing up the fifth or sixth season. Like we wanted to rewatch everything because we hadn't watched it in a long time. And then we're going to get into the seventh season. But pretty much the characters in that show are just hilarious. Leslie Nope is one of my favorite characters of all time, if not my favorite character. She is amazing. Um, I don't even worry too much, but, you know, she's kind of the main person in the show. But I love all the characters. It's just really funny. Uh, Ron Swanson is my man. I love him. He's so funny. Excuse my language, but he's so funny. Um, if you haven't seen that show, you need to check it out. If you're really into, like, The Office, 
um, you, you would really like that show. So definitely check it out. Then the next thing that I want to talk about with you guys is Teen Mom. So I've been loving Teen Mom. Um, I really love Macy. I love all the characters except for Farrah. Sorry, but she's so mean. Now, I heard she really had like a rough childhood. Um, and I feel bad for her for that. But at the same time, like, she's gotten out of control. Like, she really needs to treat people with more respect. And I really wish she wasn't on the show. Just because... That's my opinion, just because I feel like she taints it. I feel like it's just so negative. And, like, every, pretty much every scene with her, she's being rude to someone. She's being mean. And it's like, I don't want to have to see that. Like, I know there's, it's showing, like, different perspectives on people's lives. But, like, at the same time, it's too much. Or if they're going to show her, try to minimize how much they include her in the show. Just because to have, like, that much negativity, to see someone treat people that like that constantly is so frustrating. It's just like, but I was so excited to see Tyler and Caitlyn's wedding. It was so great. Um, Tyler's vows. Can we talk about that? A lot of a lot of you people out there need to like listen to that speech and take some notes because that was one of the best things ever. I absolutely loved it. Um, and then also I just love Macy in general. I love Bentley. He's adorable. He's so cute. I think in one of the episodes he asks one of the cameramen. They show him asking a cameraman to like hold his like. He would hold something for him while he like fixed something like a shoe or something and it was so cute and they like then he took it and left but um he's just adorable so I love Team Mom I love seeing um I love like hearing about I don't know I love watching their lives seeing them grow seeing what happens to them um also what are you what are your guys feelings on Matt I have such mixed feelings on him because I'm like part of me is like he's kind of shady but then part of me is like he's cool though so sometimes I don't know what to feel about him but let me know down if you guys watch the show let me know what your thoughts are on all that now let's jump into music. There is one song that I've been listening a lot this month, to a lot this month, and it's something that my girlfriend shared with me. It's from Zella Day, and it's called Hypnotic, so I'll just play a little bit for you. But yeah, pretty much it's just like a really sexy, sultry song. And it's just really, I love the beat to it. So I've been listening to that a lot lately. All right, I think that is everything. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite lifestyle products are from this past month. What movies have you loved? Music, um, food. Let me know what you guys have been loving. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, I talk so much. Oh my god, like I talk.